All right, starting my day on the treadmill. I haven't done this in a couple days. Just got a video uploading and it's, I'm gonna fall off. Um, it's getting harder to um, do this and not get too hot because the weather's warming up. It's nice and sunny outside. Uh, hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? 52, sorry I have my earbuds in, it told me. In my earbuds, 52 and sunny. Looks like a day at the beach here in Seattle. And so, I bet my kids have the fireplace on. And uh, I'm gonna hop off here. I need to open up the window and shut my doors right there. Cause yeah, fireplace is on. 52 outside. I don't think we need it to be like 68 in here when it's 52 outside. Let's let this sunshine. Oh, yeah. Ashley, yeah. chores please. I'm not everyone's favorite person on Saturday mornings, so welcome to Saturday morning. You guys are happy to see me. <laughs> Kaylee is already at work. Abby has to go to work here in, I don't know, hour and a half, I think. So I'm hoping to be showered by then and uh, ready to watch. My Seahawks, they're in the playoffs. I'm trying to get the house clean, chores done, and so I can sit and fit, so that I can sit and watch the Seahawk game. And I think Jacob's coming over when Kaylee gets home from work, and he's gonna watch. He could care less about the Seahawks, and he's not coming over to support me watching the Seahawks. He's literally watching <laughs> to make fun of me if we lose. Literally, oh, he's coming over. But the good thing is, he takes football seriously. Obviously, he played in high school, but uh, and he loves his beloved Vikings terribly. But he does take football seriously, so he is invested in the game itself, regardless of who's playing. So he will cheer for whatever team if they score. He'll get mad at refs if they get a bad call. Anyway, so it'll be fun to have him over here. Um, I got a cute little gift um, at a game. I, I have to tell you about this. Um, anyway, so it'll be fun to have him come over. I am going to go and get showered up. I did not walk very much, but I'm in the time crunch to get cleaned up. I'm going to shave my face and then take Abby to work, come home, and watch the game. So I went to an activity at our church for the women the other night. And it was a game night and they had games that they already had set. I took some games with me and they didn't need them because they already had games they wanted to do. It was more like getting to know you games. And uh, I'm gonna set you down here for a second. See if I can find a little way to prop you up so I don't have to hold you. Okay, oh that's too high. All right, I just sat down. <laughs> Ashley's inviting her friend to come over and play because her mom is in Nashville this weekend uh, for a girls weekend. And they're just sitting and talking on the phone. I'm like, let's go get her and actually like play together. And put, They want to pull out the purler beads. Anyway, so we had this activity and they had um, like get to know you games. And I've, they're kind of like games that we would play at like a, a baby shower or whatever. Um, like one of them that I love playing is what's in your purse. And you get points based on what you have in your purse. I have the mother load of a purse. The other game that we played um, was what's on your phone. So it was like points for if you have like, um, what? Ella? What? No, mom. mom, my name is mom. Um, she wants to bring her. I can't take her, she can come over if her dad can bring her, but I can't, I'm not going for an hour. You're cute, you're feeling better. Just she can come over if her dad can bring her. Oh. But then she, yeah. Anyway, so the one with um, what's on your phone, you got docked 15 points if you had Candy Crush on your phone. Everyone had it but me. And and there was like, I don't even know, maybe 30, 40 women there. They were so mad at me because I didn't have Candy Crush on my phone. And I was like, I literally play one of two like games on my phone. I just don't play games. I'd rather listen to a book or watch TikTok or whatever. Anyway, so I won the what's on your phone game. No, I won the what's in your purse game. The first, that's what we played first. Um, because I have everything in my purse. 
I have everything. And then the game with what's on your phone, one person thought she had won, um, but she was counting points for every flower picture she had on her phone. And when we realized that she was counting a point for every single flower, everyone's like, oh, no, no, no. One, you don't get points for every flower. It literally says, do you have flower pictures on your phone? And you just answer yes, and you get one point. And then everyone's like, and Dana has you beat on Hawaiian pictures in her phone. I guarantee you, so it was like, Dana, pull up your phone. And I was like, hibiscus flower, hibiscus flower, hibiscus flower, plumeria, plumeria. <laughs> like, I have you beat on flower pictures in my phone. So it was quite fun. So I got that first prize and it said like, you um, you drive me nuts or something like that. Uh, yes. But her mom's in Nashville. No, at Sadie's. Oh, so Sadie's gonna come over too? Well, she wants you. Okay, can I? Can I work with you in just a second okay. when I'm done with this? <laughs> now she's inviting all of her friends to come over. You understand we're watching a football game and you can't be rowdy and ruckus and I can't hear my game. I'm gonna be more ruckus than you are. Yes, you guys can be here, but if you're like noisy, I'm gonna send you outside. Okay, because the one that wants to now wants to come over, she's the noisy one. When they all get together, they get really giggly and noisy and they love Chelsea. These girls don't have sisters. So they love Chelsea so much. They love that she has an older sister. Um, I think Abby will be glad she's at work and Kaylee and Jacob will be here watching the game with me. But I digress. This game was really, really fun. I always win at the what's in your purse game because I have the screwdriver. I have the, like I have the weird things, the, the tweezers. I have pens, I have, I have medication. I have, like you name it. So I won it and I, I won those nuts. And the other prize was, I can't even remember what it was. Oh, it was a box of, I don't think it was chocolates. Oh, pumpkin muffin mix or something like that. It, they were just random gifts. Um, and I was like, I'm good. I'm good with the pistachio nuts. So that's what that was. I wasted a lot of four minutes <laughs> sitting here talking to you guys. I'm gonna go shower and get cleaned up. Um, my face has so much peach fuzz on it, it's ridiculous. Like I can literally like play with it down here, it's so gross. So I'm gonna go give myself a little facial treatment and then hop in the shower. I feel bad I haven't walked very much but apparently I have to go and get extra kids and I'm just running out of time. Kitchen is clean. You know, if I, you know, someone came over last night selling Girl Scout cookies with her daughter who is on Ashley's cheer team um, the, her like city cheer team, not the one she's currently on. And the mom, she just lives around the corner and she can see like here into my house and she's like, every time I come over here, your house is so clean. I don't understand. How are there not toys on the ground? And I was like, cause my youngest is nine. I mean, yes, her messes are on the ground. Like she just leaves her trail. We all know her trail, but like, she's like, but what about toys? And I was like, my kids don't play with toys anymore. They're teenagers. They don't, Sit, come out and play with blocks and she's anyway she was just like floored she's like is your house like always clean and I was like down here it is yes because that's the space I'm in charge of I mean clearly that <laughs> some some of us don't have clean spaces down here anyway but I have trained my kids to do their chores right so that was just clean just now those are Abby's shoes she's probably gonna put them on I, I just teach them clean up your messes they are now not leaving their dishes at the table. They are bringing them over here and they are loading them. Ashley's little little uh, dirty clean button, it is working. Oh, that just came off. I think Jason wants this little sticky pad thing to come off because she put it on there not without him like helping her and I think he would have rather had put the magnet on it. Um, so anyway, but the kids are doing a better job. The only reason why these two aren't loaded are because they probably came from upstairs. Someone probably just brought them down from their room because Ashley did just load. But at Kaylee did her job before she went to work this morning because I told her, I was like, no, there's no excuse. Get up earlier, do your job, then go to your job. <laughs> Teach your kids how to be responsible and they will, and they will. Like I know moms who still to this day have kids that are my kids age like, oh, I'll just wait till they go to bed and then I'll clean the house. And I'm like, no, make them clean the house. They made the mess and then send them to bed. Like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. That doesn't teach them anything. 
if Kaylee didn't know how to cook, if she didn't know how to make a kitchen clean, like that's clean, she does the counters. She knows how to use cleaning supplies to clean, like not only granite, but also a wood table. She also knows what ones to use to clean off the uh, fridge and the microwave. You put vinegar in the microwave in order to break up all the guck in the microwave. She knows how to do all that. She's only 17. Some people don't know how to do that in their 30. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I am gonna go hop in the shower. I did get a new little iPod case. Cute, quite little compared to my big camera one. I needed one that I can dock on my little MagSafe chargers um, so that they, I don't have to keep taking off the case. It was driving me crazy at night. I'd have to like undo everything. So now everything has a MagSafe charger. I don't even think I got 2,000 steps in. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but I'm gonna time crunch. Maybe I'll hop on, maybe I'll hop back on. Hang on. All right, I have folded a load of laundry, drying off one more sweatshirt, and I'm gonna move that load of laundry in. But I have hung all of Ashley's stuff. That's one more sweatshirt of hers to put away. But I don't have any more laundry, I don't think. Well, that's, that's my last load, I think. According to my kids, they brought me all their laundry. All right, showered, I shaved my face. I still look as red as before because I'm really hot. And then I did my little peeling solution. I just washed it off, that's why I look kind of red. But I feel fresh and clean. I'm gonna make sure that the game is recording. It starts in like 10 minutes, but I've gotta start running Abby to work, taking Ashley's iPad to a tech place, see if they can fix that. And Ashley has her friends coming over to play. So I just don't want this game to not start to record. I really hope we win this game. All right, it's recording. I just need to make sure. Usually it, re it will record all Seahawks games, but I haven't done like into a playoff season for a couple years, unfortunately. So that is all set. I don't need to have the TV on. All right, I took Abby to work. Now I just got to this computer tech place. Let's pray they can fix this thing. I don't know if they're gonna be able to. I'm not used to having sunshine get in the way of filming a video. I mean, it was kind of annoying. He, the guy knows how to fix it. I'm here at the repair, repair place. And he was like, I guess I just don't understand. Like you can get it into like the restore mode, right? And I was like, yeah. And then it disappears from the computer that's doing the restore. He's like, yeah. And I was like, that's why I'm bringing it to you because it disappears and I can't do the restore. And he says, well, you need to have a lot of patience for this because it goes in and out of it as you're doing the restore. And I said, so beyond seven hours? Because we had it plugged in for seven hours yesterday and only went into restore mode once. So, well, that's why you pay me the, the hundred bucks. <laughs> so I should have more than seven hours of patience to just let it sit and plug in, not doing anything, hoping that it will connect and start a restore, a restore mode over and over and over again and he, he just was like a blank stare. And he's like, well, and I said, because it doesn't seem like the outlet plug here is working. Can you look at that to see if there's something in here that's preventing it to plug in? Because my daughter even says that like, she has a hard time charging it. And he says, well, it's plugged in here and it's charging. And I was like, okay. I said, sometimes she can get it to plug. So you're getting lucky right now. You're getting lucky. But in a seven hour period, we couldn't get it to plug and recognize that it was plugged in. <laughs> I was like, whatever. And he's like, well, if I can't fix it, I won't charge you. And I'm like, yeah, you won't charge me. Whatever, hundred bucks is cheaper than getting a new iPad, which we don't have in the market budget for. So I'm gonna go home and watch the Seahawks game. It was kind of annoying to talk to him because he kind of just looked at me like I was a stupid woman. And I was like, I literally sat there for seven hours and worked on this yesterday. I know what I should do. I know that I need to do a restore on it. I know that I can't do an update because there's not enough, there's not enough storage on it because it's an old iPad. And he's like, okay, so you need to do a restore. And I said, I know, I know I need to do that. I was like, we're literally circling each other. I understand that's what I need to do, but the plug is not connecting. Let him do it. Let him get frustrated with it. If he's the stupid tech expert, why can't I back out? That didn't go well. <laughs> oh, 
such a good first half. It was actually a good like three quarters of the game. And then it just all fell apart. So Jason, Jacob has now officially watched a game where we have lost and he is so happy right now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna film him because he's like, oh, that's too bad. It was a pretty bad game. So we're out, out of the playoffs. It's over, we're done. And I'm gonna sit here at my desk and be mildly depressed, at least until we might go to a game night tonight and then it'll pick back up. <sighs> so sad. That was our last game to watch until next year. And then the winter becomes very lonely. <laughs> oh well. Turns out the kids got to me first, so they have finagled me into going to get them kids meals. Yeah. Ashley and her two friends. Ashley, you have a sweatshirt on the floor out there. Uh, right, girls? Going to get McDonald's? Oh, we'll see. Hi. Hi. Hello. Lies on Hello, camera. Lies on camera. Hello, internet. I don't even want to turn the camera on, Jacob. I don't even want to know his opinion. I don't want to, like, hear it. I yeah, you're fake happy I emotion it. after that game. I, there's no faking. This is fake, yes. <laughs> this is fake emotion right now. I would oh, I rather be in that room. You just are showing it. They're showing sulking with there. a Netflix show. That's what I would rather be doing right now. Okay. Sweatshirt, jacket, jacket. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, we were in line at McDonald's and I got the call that the iPad is done. He said it's fixed. I am curious to see if it was a plug issue as well as a restore issue. It is scrubbed clean. But she only has like, what? how many apps do you think you have on Ash? I have to delete apps because it says my storage is wrong. Yeah, her storage is full. So she literally has like YouTube and Netflix and Roblox. Yeah. But it's fixed. Um, they did that same day. They didn't think they'd have it done till Wednesday. So we are going to run and get it really quick. If and they didn't have it till Wednesday, I'd be really mad. I know. <laughs> I didn't know what we were going to deal with you not having it. I know. So the girls. I know. How would I? Oh, you life. wouldn't be able to survive. None of us would survive. How do you live with that? I mean, they That's literally. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. So these are the girls that all. Oh my gosh, they're so noisy. <laughs> they text each other and call each other and video call each other from the second they wake up. Who was calling this morning? Jaden. I was ignoring you and your calls like crazy. I was like, girl, it's eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. So. Yeah, I don't know I what they would do without an iPad. Like, well, it's not disturbed, it does not do it. I know. No. Well, she didn't even have her iPad, it was broken. Yeah. So the calls come to me. Anyway, I, it's I fine.